five, four, three, two, one. Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Maccabees TV. I'm sitting here with my brother, a one year sop. Shalom, What's shalom. going on, King? It's been a while since we've seen you on Maccabees TV, bye, man. Bye. I know you brought you brothers from GLCC. I've been a little quiet, but I know you brothers been building, doing the most high's work. Always. But there's some people that's wondering, you know, what you brothers been up to. So expound a little bit on that, man. What you been up to? Yeah, man. You know, just uh, forever studying, man. Forever studying, trying to perfect our walk in Christ. Trying to stay away from a lot of the uh, tension, disputations, and things of that nature. Uh, you know, the most high say shun those things, man. So we in the last days. We really just trying to get right with our spirit. And just, uh, you know, build the brethren, man. Build the body and, and do the Lord's work. You know what I mean? Just just staying humble and uh, and doing the day-to-day -day things. Right, right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Elder was telling me that you brothers have, um, from the GLCC, y'all have formulated a brand new uh, outreach program as far as the two-by-two. Two. Right. You are going out in the streets and you speaking to the people. Right. Now, you brothers have a different format. Not that it's any less effective than what the brothers that are on the street as a full camp do, right. but you brothers have formulated your own uh, design on how you brothers want to interact with the people on a day-to-day -day basis in the street. So you want to elaborate a little bit on that? Con, of course. I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, it's really not, uh, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. You know what I mean? And we're just trying to go about things according to the scriptures and according to Luke 10 and Matthew 10. Uh, it's just an alternative uh, way to reach the people that we never even really looked into before because we all familiar with the, you know, go out to the highways and the byways and speak to the people and, and let your voice be heard, you know, lift up that voice like a trumpet. And we've implemented those things and we've, we've been doing camp for a long time, uh, but it's just something that came and was revealed through the Spirit. Uh, we have some brothers out in Jersey. Uh, shout out to uh, Brother Aaron, Deacon Aaron and uh, Tasa Doc. Uh, you know, those brothers actually, the, the, the Spirit of the Most High came upon them to really kind of look into that scripture. And they started doing a, a, a two by two, almost similar probably to what people in the world would know as a Jehovah's Witness type type of situation. But not not like that because, you know, they in error. But, um, you know, and uh, we, I actually only participated in it one time. But uh, that's what I'm saying as far as us just being, building in the scriptures, trying to expound on things. That's what we've been up to. Just really trying to figure out different ways to reach the people because you know it says until his his truth gets spread to the four corners of the earth and we know that a lot of people uh may not be as receptive to the street preaching because it's been stigmatized and you get certain people that feel like you're always attacking them and things of that nature even though we don't really come off like that you know we we, we you know all, 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 all the brothers all, all camps what we're trying to do is reach our people in love but sometimes people misinterpret it and, and, and see it as me screaming at them or something like that. So we said, you know what? Let's take a more meek approach and let's try what Christ did. Because it's Jehovah's Witness, they got like what? Like 10 million people in, in part of their congregation and they teaching, um, they teaching the left-hand side. Sure. You know, and, and we're, we're trying to come with the right-hand side. So why can't it work for us in gathering our sheep, gathering our people? And, and Christ said, go to the Lord's sheep. And I, and I feel like not enough people um, you know, in general, not speaking about Israelites because this is what we do as a living, but not enough people in these churches, man, go to the projects, go to the slums, go to these different areas of where these communities need to be infiltrated, maybe in a two by two type of manner, to where, you know, we're not going to the Gentiles, but we're going straight to our people. And a lot of times, we know our people live in a two block radius. You know, so if you don't catch them in that, in that particular environment, you'll never catch them. So that's just something that came on the spirit, and we're going to start trying to implement that. So all praise to the Most High. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So, you know, we're coming up on the high Holy Day season now. Con. Between so-called September and so-called December, uh, there are a lot of high Holy Days that are coming up on Con. the Hebrew calendar. Even, I should say, even through January, because we got to get to Purim and so forth exactly. and so on. Exactly. So for the next about four to five months, it's a very, very busy time on the Hebrew Spiritual calendar. Time. So for people that might want to get in touch with the... Uh, congregation of GOCC uh, close by them that might want to celebrate the High Holy Days. How can they get in touch with you brothers or what should they do? Will you brothers possibly be live streaming maybe some of these High Holy Days or you know what's going on? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to live stream. Uh, we'll probably live stream trumpets mm -hmm. because we're going to do that. We're actually going to be on 125th, uh, excuse me, 116th Street. We're going to be by uh, Amy Roof. There's a, there's a little situation we got over there and uh, we're gonna be, excuse me, my phone is ringing. Huh, we're, gonna I'll cut that keeping, uh, we're gonna be keeping the, the, the Feast of Trumpets there. 
Uh, Feast of Atonement, as we all know, we fast, but then we're gonna come together and eat. We'll probably do something like a, a house type situation. But the church is located on 446 Willis Avenue in the South Bronx. That's between 145th and 146th Street on Willis Ave. We'll be right there. Yeah. Um, Feast of Tabernacles, we go camping, so there ain't gonna be no stream. We're gonna be in the woods, you know what I mean? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So listen, man, before you guys go, I just got two more quick questions. The first question oh. is this, man. I know your brother's been keeping it under wraps. I don't know if you're ready to reveal it yet, <laughs> but I understand that you and my brother Mala are from AOC. Right. Y'all got some powerful presentations coming that's going to be reaching out right. to our brothers and sisters of Latino origin of descent, showing biblically beyond a shadow of a doubt and archaeologically as well and historically that they are indeed Hebrew Israelites. Absolutely. So, um, do you guys have any dates set yet, or you guys are still in the works with doing this? Um, right, yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking that, Elder. Um, you know, all praise of the most high, the spirit is moving, man. I was just meeting with Mala Ak at his, uh, at his bill on uh, Friday. We was, we was linking up, and uh, we actually had to kind of postpone it. Initially, we wanted it in uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, you know, which is September 15th to October 15th. We wanted to do something in that region. But now we're thinking more so towards around the time of Thanksgiving, so-called Thanksgiving. Uh, and it's, it's a du duality to that because Thanksgiving we know is the slaughtering of the Native American Indians but we're going to try and come and bring that spirit of but God shall overcome at the last you see so the Northern Kingdom we will overcome at the last and we're going to bring that spirit and we're going to bring that understanding that you know Judah and Ephraim is one and also showing beyond the shadow of a doubt the, the proof behind who we are as a people because there's a lot of people out there that are doubting whether or not we are of the stock of Israel. And uh, so we, we want to bring that evidence forth. And I think it's going to be powerful, man. And we're going to invite, you know, if you Southern Kingdom, if you Northern Kingdom, if you Kemet, if you Conscious, if you whatever, you come through to that. And I guarantee you'll take a second look, uh, not only at whether or not we Israel, but you're going to take a second look at the scriptures, at, at, this, at the Holy Bible. Because once you see how this evidence matches up, there's no way you can disprove it. So it's going to be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. Mala Ak and I are going to be starting to do some promotions for that. So brothers and sisters, stay tuned, please. And I'm praying, if, if I can make a request of you brothers, I'm praying that you brothers do some of it in Spanish, please. Con, because yeah. you have a, a large majority of our people that don't speak English, that really haven't heard this word because some of them just don't speak English. Right. And I don't feel, and I always say this to my brothers from the Ten Tribe, the Northern Kingdom, I don't feel that enough of our brothers sometimes speak the Spanish. When they're on the street, they, I guess because they've been here in America so long, they speak a lot of the English the way we speak the English. But our people that don't speak English need to be reached. So I'm hoping that some of, part of the lecture even, right. at some point is done in Spanish. I was um, speaking to some brothers about possibly getting a hold of some apocryphas in Spanish. I understand right. that they exist. They do. They're just hard they to get. They do. They so, do. And in fact, uh, Brother Dawood, who's, who's back, you know the Brother yes, Dawood, yes, yeah, from Brother, he has the... Uh, I forget the name of the Bible. It's not the Reina Valera, but it's the, uh, there's another Spanish version Bible. It's the Queen something. It came out in 1519. It actually predates the 1611 King James. For all you King James haters, uh, it predates that and it's in Spanish. And, and, and the Apocrypha is included within the text. Beautiful. It's not separate. So it actually goes in order. So like uh, the book of Sirach, like which is a wisdom book, is right after Job. Nice. So it's like right, you know, it's, nice. it's, it's mingled in the scriptures. Um, now, as far as us doing part of it in Spanish, Mala Ak and I was talking because we're going to do it in DVD too. We're going to have a DVD and we're going to put subtitles in there. Okay, we're do good. Spanish subtitles oh, so we can put it out to the masses. Ah, all yeah, praise Mosai to the Mosai. Mosai. All praise to the Mosai for uh -huh. that. That is so beautiful. So I want to end it off on this. Uh, we want to end it off on a positive note, even though the question may not come across as so positive. Uh -huh. You know, right now we see that there's a lot of confusion going on. And I believe, and I've said this many times, that the confusion that's going on, that's being focused on, is to distract us as Israelites from building. Right. So every, for every tit, there's a tat. Yep. So if you do a presentation and call my name, I want to do a presentation to counter you, that you want to do one to counter me, that yep. I want to do the, one to counter you, you want to talk about my wife, I want to talk about your wife and your personal life, whatever, whatever. And then we as Hebrew Israelites, we're not focused on why we came into the truth in the beginning, which Absolutely. was to build, which Absolutely. was to gather the Most High's elect. So I'm glad to hear, as I told Elder Gabar, I'm glad to hear that brothers are building. Huh. I want brothers to know that we are also building. Of course. And um, I want you to stress to Israel the importance. See, what I'm trying to say is this, right? I know that when people see the attacks on the scriptures that constantly come, video after video after video after video, you're waiting for us, you know, the so-called Hebrew war machine, to answer every attack. Right. But if we do that, 
then we'll never build nothing. Right. Because we'll just be like the hamster in the wheel chasing our own tail. Right. And that is a tactic that Satan is using Absolutely. to keep us from building. Absolutely. So speak to the people on the importance of not having to answer every single attack, but building and let our works right. speak for themselves. Well, you know, that's an excellent um, inquiry, Elder Daniel Allah. The book of Proverbs says that, uh, you know, if you continue to answer foolish questions, you become a fool yourself. So at some point, we got to distinguish what's foolishness from what's truth and edifying. Now, initially, when those attacks and those onslaughts were coming to us from the comedic community and from the so-called conscious community, we answered those uh, and, and we came back because we felt like truth needed to be put on the forefront and needed to be put on the pedestal because brothers, it just got to the point where brothers were saying things that just wasn't true. You know, King James is white, King James is a homosexual, uh, 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 you know, Israelites are not an ancient people. Things of that nature is just foolishness because, you know, so much proves against that. We had, we had to answer that so that people could have somewhat of a neutral and unbiased viewpoint when, when, when deciphering through these different uh, videos and, and so on and so forth. But what I want to say is that we in the times of, of the last days, truly, and, and a lot of people, they misunderstand what it means by the last days. What we mean by that is we're in the, we're in the era that is about to be overturned. Everything that we know, the, the, the kingdom that's set forth right now, the rulership that's established is about to be overthrown. You know, and we feel that because if you just look at Babylon, look at, uh, uh, you know, America and these, and these other nations and how they're falling from grace in this time. Mm -hmm. They're collapsing economically, they're collapsing from a societal standpoint. Uh, gay marriage was just passed, that's an abomination of desolations. Different things are coming to pass and we're living out prophecy and, it's, and it talks about how an effeminate spirit will come upon this earth in this time and lead brothers away from the truth. And to be honest with you, all of that back and forth and this and that, that's, that's you know, that's brothers taking on an effeminate spirit, man. We should not be engaged in all, oh, he hurt my feet. Oh, what'd you say about my wife? You said this, you said that. At the end of the day, you know, we, we, we're men in this. You know, in 2 Timothy, the book of 2 Timothy, it talk about how in the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves. So don't get caught up in this YouTube thing and get caught in that paradigm. Because really what it is, it, 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 it's just that. It's, it's, it's something that fades and passes away. And people are getting too embellished and feeling themselves too much on the camera. It's like, it's just like what happened with hip hop, you know? And, and you know, Israelites, man, we, we, it says the meek shall inherit the earth. So we deal with the people. We gotta stay on this common ground. Don't get too above yourself and elevate your mind to the point where you can't reach the people again, you know? So let's keep everything very neutral, you know, from the standpoint of, you know, it says, uh, 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 Christ prophesied in the book of Matthew to tell you that, uh, you know, in the last days, uh, offense, people shall be given into offense. So a lot of people being offended, Christ prophesied of these things, man. We gotta come up, we gotta check ourselves and come up out of that spirit and just follow Christ in truth. Because we gotta uphold the light. We, we, we're the light to the world. So I, I end it like that and just say all praise to the Most High and hope that brothers, you know, continue to seek in sincerity and in truth and get back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. What is, really quick before you go, huh. I, I was speaking to um, Elder Gabar when he interviewed me about the reception that I've gotten since I've been a part of the Hebrew War Machine, a part of the Alliance, and even doing interviews on Senate, Senate TV. You know, for what it's worth, being on Senate TV and having the exposure to his audience, there are some of the Most High's elect amongst his viewers Absolutely. that just have not woken up yet. Absolutely. And I've been receiving countless <clears throat> emails and inboxes on my Facebook page and my YouTube page, more than I can say of people that are not Israelite persuaded yep. right now, yep. but are interested in the truth. Really quick before you go, can you speak to what the reaction has been for people that have seen you? Have you know? I heard that um, after Cameron trial, there was a couple of brothers that came uh, yeah. to your church, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know. Talk, to, talk about that real quick. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> that's like, that was a very humbling experience for me because I've never, I, I was never one to want to actually even be on that platform. You know what I mean? I, I'm more so like behind the scenes, just building. I, I, I love studying and I love being a student. And um, when the elder kind of brought me under his wing and said, look, brother, I, you know, I want you to, you know, speak to the people and things of that nature and, and come with me. Um, and, and I became more or less a sidekick, so to speak. That was like a very uh, a humbling experience and it was very um, interesting because I had never interfaced with brothers on that level. Um, and 
and, and, and especially, I think that's how the most I works because I came out of that community. I was a part of that community. I, I used to go to, I, I've been to polite lectures before and I seen the brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, you know, so, so to now then turn around a few years later and be in the ring, so to speak, with these brothers, you know, it was, it was an honor, man. And um, I could say the response that I've gotten, uh, you know, is just, you see people and they're like, oh man, brother, why you stop? You know, yo, great work, I love your work, this, that, and third. And it's, it's, it's very, um, it's nice to know that people can recognize truth and that they can discern what's going on out there. And all praise to the Most High for using us as vessels to be able to distribute his word to the people. And if it, if it helps gather his elect, man, so be it. And we just happen to be a part of that. And, you know, like just like you, Daniel, I've had a lot of people contact me, email me, things of that nature. Brother, man, you know, what's this, what's that? And and most of them haven't been of an Israelite persuasion. They actually came to Israel because they was on the fence between the two. So, uh, you know, it's just speaking truth to power, man, and being honest with ourselves and knowing the conviction that we have and following the spirit that the Most High put upon us to, to carry his word out. Because he called us out of the world just like everybody else that's in the world now. We, you know, if you asked me 15 years ago if I knew I was going to be an Israelite and, you know, X, Y, Z, I'd have been like, nah, man, please, you know. But that's how the Most High works. So just keep your eyes and ears open and, and, and pray and just be sincere in your heart and your spirit. All right, beautiful, brother. Well, we thank you for, for taking time the interview. We thank you, brothers, for coming out to the little gathering that we had to, here today Always. on short notice. And I look forward to being in the audience when you and brother Mala Ak have oh, y'all y'all uh, y'all lecture. Honor, you know what I'm saying? You don't know this man, but I speak pretty fluent Spanish. People don't know that on the low. Y'all say I love Spanish. Yo, yo lo aprendí. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow, I learned wow. it many years ago. You right. know what I'm saying? I used to live on. Uh, 181 in San Nicolas. Oh, yo pasé como ocho años allá. Pasito eh, hay. Sí, yo vive con una vieja. Right. Y ella no hablo, ing hablo wow, inglés, wow. ni una palabra. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to learn that shit. Yeah, you feel me? Bueno. So, <laughs> you know, and I learned it through the spirit of the Most High, man, and I use it when I have to use it, you right. know, on the streets or whatever like that. Like, you know, I can preach a little bit in Spanish uh -huh. if I have to, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So, I look forward to being in the audience and, you know, learning from you brothers, man. You know, if you brothers need any books and everything that I have at my disposal, you don't have, you're more than welcome to it. You know, saying the brothers McGun and Bunyah was in my camp, they know the books I have. And I'm sure that you brothers have books I don't have that I'll be planning on getting, man. Right, right, right. Just don't break my pockets, bro. <laughs> Just don't bring out too much information because oh, you know me, I'm going to go get all of it. I know, man. Thank you, brother, man. That's a pleasure. <laughs> all right? Yeah, thank you. Shalom to the people and, and Judah and E from One Stick, man. That's, that's the motto, man. We're coming together. So rise, Israel, and, and wake up. It's high time to wake up. Shalom. All right, Shalom, fam. All right.